from a defensive standpoint, preparing for another opponent. This one you all have seen before, but as Coach said, it's not the same quarterback, so to speak. It's the same guy, but not really. You know, he was just a rookie back then or a freshman. What have you all seen maybe that's different, or what's what's the key to, to slowing that down for him? I mean, obviously, I mean, it's no, no secret that he's very athletic. I mean, you got to have a lot of respect for him. And, and in order to shut him down, we're going to have to contain him, make sure we keep him in the box, then we, you know, we'll probably uh, uh, have an extra set of eyes on him. You know, we got to make sure that uh, uh, we keep him in the box and make sure that we, we prevent him from getting loose and, and getting some momentum rolling. Was practicing against, sorry, there, practicing against so many mobile quarterbacks in your history being here, you know, uh, do you think that helps you guys a little bit? Maybe be a little bit more prepared for a guy like Khalil Tate? 100%. I mean, you think back to Greg Ward and then De'Aaron King. We go against those guys every day in practice. And when you get that kind of practice every single day, I mean, obviously, it, it definitely helps you prepare and train for, for those kind of experiences in the game. I'm trying to think last year, if Kyle, I thought Kyle might have joked that he was Khalil last year, or was it was it Bryson that, that he also scout? Do you remember who, who ran scout team right, last year? Right, yeah. Bryson was kind of our guy for, for all those athletic quarterbacks. The, the uh, guy from South Florida, Flowers, and, and then uh, obviously Khalil Tate. I mean, you, you want to uh, uh, have guys like Bryson Smith out there to, to kind of put the moves on you and whatever gets you ready to make those plays in the game. Is that from a, from a fan standpoint, uh, Obviously, Ed has 10 other guys on the field with him at all times, but a lot of people will look at this as two Heisman type guys, Khalil and Ed. Uh, if you were a fan and you were in the stands, I mean, that's kind of a neat matchup to see. Obviously, there's, Ed's going to be all over the field doing other things. He's just not going to be worrying about Khalil. But when you have two high profile guys like that, that's not bad for a week two showdown. Right. I mean, it's a big time matchup. At the end of the day, though, I mean, they, he can't do it all by himself, you know. There's 10 other guys that got to be out there to, to help him, and, and uh, uh, I mean, one, one guy misses a block, I mean, he's got to go for six, you know. So everybody's got to be there, everybody's got to do their job, and we all got to do it together as a unit. So the important stuff, how much sleep did you get on <laughs> Friday slash Saturday morning yeah. uh, before Rice? Hardly any. We, uh, it's funny, we, the last, last minute move, they put me with uh, Isaiah Chambers. Uh, I'm personally, I'm a big snorer, so nobody wanted a room with me. And then uh, we, I really didn't know what to expect with Isaiah, so we got together. And believe it or not, my snoring was not the issue. He's up every hour on the hour, just doing crazy stuff. He's up there, he's up at 1 a.m. stretching, up at 2 a.m. washing his face, up at 3 a.m. He's just pounding water at 3 a.m. 4 a.m. he's snacking on something. I'm like, dude, what? I mean, are you gonna go to sleep? And I even told him, I joked with him, I said, I said, man, you just, what, you just don't sleep the night before a game? And and, and uh, so we were kind of going back and forth on, on who was responsible for the lack of sleep. Well, that's what he was saying, because he uh, he said that he was having night sweats because he uh, he was nervous. And right. then he also said that when he did go to sleep, he was having some weird dreams about not playing well. And you know, everything was playing with no, his mind, he said. I, I, that's, so, that's funny, because I did. I got up at one point uh, when he got up and I was joking with him. I said, man, you must be nervous. And he said, man, you know, it's my first game since 2015 or whatever. And I, I said, you're going to be fine, man. Try to get some sleep, because you're going to need it. After and, seeing all that that he went through the night before, when he finally Got in and obviously had some success early. Do you have anything extra to say to him? Like, hey, you know, maybe, oh, that maybe was don't sleep working. ever. No, I wouldn't go and tell him that. I said, because shoot, I need my sleep too. So I, I said, man, we got to get some some better sleep next week. But I mean, it worked out for him. You're not assigned to him for the season, are you? I am. Oh, yeah. so you, so, so you, I'll, I'll, so yeah. you get him back. With slip something in his water. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> put him to sleep. The last thing you're uh, you're uh, the representative, I think, for the award here. Um, I'm sorry, it's not the Bulls were. Uh, uh, the Campbell the, Trophy. Yeah. Campbell Trophy. Yeah. What, what's that like to, to be the Houston representative for that for that award? It's, it's obviously very special. Um, I take a lot of uh, importance with academics. And, um, at the end of the day, I mean, the, the competitive nature uh, uh, here with my teammates, I mean, it doesn't just, it's not just out there on the field. You know, obviously it's in the classroom and everything like that too. So I want to perform the best I can on and off the field and try to set myself up for life. Are you one of the guys that already has this degree? Yeah, so I've, I've already got my degree, my undergrad, and I'm currently getting my master's in global energy management. What's your undergrad in? Business management. Okay. And I'm trying it, to look to get into oil and gas. It, it feels like forever ago when you got here, having covered you in high school briefly. Yeah. Uh, does, it, does it feel like that every now and then, or do you have anything, too, that I, goes through your mind having this be your last full run for sure? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's my last ride. and. and uh, I mean, it does. It, it, if you really think about it, it, it seems like a long time ago, but but the time really flies by. You know, I mean, you don't. 
and you, you can tell the guy, the freshman, when they get here, man, it's going to blow blow by. But, you know, they don't really believe it until they're a senior, and, and, and it really takes effect. But it goes quick.